Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say good evening everyone with the East West Coast. Hope you guys enjoyed your day today. Here on Thursday, I hope you guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up starting tomorrow on Friday. And for this video tonight of what I want to talk about is Daniel Cosgrove talks Days Are Lives Return as Aiden Jennings. So let's get right into it. The link will be in the description down below. This is from SerialScoop.com, uh, posted, posted by Michael Goldberg for the uh, 5th of May. 2016 was posted uh, today here on Thursday, and I'm not going to read through all of it. I'm just going to read through the important parts that I found interesting uh, once I first saw this, which was posted this morning, and let's get right into it. In the May 16, 2016 issue of Soap Opera Digest, Dan Cosgrove, who plays Aiden, talks to the magazine about his surprising return to Days Are Lives. Uh, before Carlos completed his run onto the show last year, he was already hearing Aiden could show up back in Salem. I didn't believe it, says the actor. You hear, all room, you hear rumors all the time. Aiden's ending was pretty uh, finant. He got shot in the chest and wrapped up in a body bag. The popular actor was also aware that his producer, Ken Corday, had told Jack Jazz previously that dead characters were staying dead. Our captain said, when somebody dies, they are dead. Carlos shares. I thought, okay. I know my fate. Aiden was in a body bag. Later, Cosgrove received a call from a day's producer. I was asked if I would like to come back, he, he recounts. I thought it was someone playing a joke on me. Laughs. Once he realized it was a serious offer, he wanted to know if Aiden was going to have a story. I also asked if I would be coming back with a story, he recounts. I was told, yes, you will be coming in with a story. We didn't get into any details because they like to keep those things, keep those kind of things quiet. Now that Carlos Grove's second state on the soap is in the way, he's making places to step up his social media game. When I do get myself on Twitter, I'm going to say thank you to a lot of people, because there were viewers who were quite vocal that they were not happy with the way the Aiden and Hope story ended, he says. I was really surprised by the fan, uh, by the fan base support. For a long time, people wondered if Aiden was a good or was good or bad. I've got to say, it was really tough to play Aiden and be in love with Hope when he was also playing a class of killer. You come to work, you do what you do, and hope that people will like it. <clears throat> so I was very grateful to hear that people miss Aiden. And even though, for me, I did not like Hope and Aiden at all, um, even though I felt that uh, Aiden was interesting before uh, uh, the character was killed off on these are lives during the 50th anniversary of the show, uh, leading up to that event, um, I, I'm actually looking forward to do Dale Costco's return as Aiden Jennings. You know, I mean, I know that people... Are not really well. I you know I won't say everyone. There are those who really don't like that. We don't like it that uh, Derek Carrasco was treated as Aiden up to his or lives because they feel that maybe this is going to disrupt the uh, disrupt the you know relationship between uh, you know Hope and uh, Rafe. You know, um, you know Hope and Rafe are seemingly. It, it seems that Hope and Rafe are starting to fall in love with each other and start to be together. Um, after Bo died, because I think that you know Bo, you know wanted Rafe to look after Hope because you know he trusted Rafe, and you know let's not forget two of these guys worked together on the police force when Rafe uh, first came in as, as an FBI agent, and then as a detective for the Salem Police Department, and so I think that for Rafe he's going to be very suspicious of Aiden and you know wondering why he's back, and so it so is Hope, uh, but from what I've been hearing from rumors that. The Aiden we saw who attacked Hope the night of her wedding, after it was all over, that was not Aiden. That was a, uh imposter. That was someone else. Uh, so if that's going to be the case, then I will not mind it at all. But the big question is, was Chase Jennings, was Aiden's son, an imposter as well? Because I know that I remember reading something on the Soap Central uh, Days of Lies Mr. Support section uh, the part, the uh, part of that message board site, where someone posted a, sp uh, sp a spoiler slash rumor that Aiden was returning May thirty first with his son Chase in some kind of uh, hosp hospital or something like that, and made me think: Could they actually redeem Chase after that horrible, horrible rape storyline? Because I think that there really was no need to have Chase be the one who violated Sierra that time in the uh, Horton household on, on the couch, but I'm not going to get into details on that because I'm sure you guys already know. Uh, but if they, if they do redeem Chase and have him cleared of this, then hey, I'm all for it because I think that there really was no need to 
have Chase thrown on the bus during that, uh, thrown on the bus, excuse me, during, the, during that storyline. Um, but I am looking forward to Anne's return. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how he came back uh, from the from the dead, you know, after, uh, I think it was gone six months, I believe. Um, so um, I do wish uh, Dan Koskov nothing more to bust in the screen forward. Go to you, sir, and what you do on Days of Our Lives when you make your return as Aiden Jennings. But tell me, Koskov, guys, think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you more neutral about Dan Koskov talking about his return to Days of Our Lives? If so, tell me in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget always to subscribe to my channel, guys. And until next time, it's Andy Sam. Peace. Take care. We'll see you guys there for still coming up tomorrow morning or in the coming minutes. So stay, stay tuned. So until next time, care guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace and see you guys later. Bye.